All right, guys. So this is another uh, review of, uh, as you can see, Nike, uh, and this is the my third uh, callway of my favorite Nike runner, the Nike uh, Air Max 93. Uh, and without further ado, let me show you what the color is. Uh, so again, as you can see, my regular eight and a half size, and the callway is the white hyper crimson and anthracite and black also known as the Hyper Crimson colorway or how we used to call it as when we were kids just the red colorway or the red uh, air chamber colorway again retail for 125 bought these and the bright side citrus for 150 bolt shipped so half the price this is how I like to shop I really love that um, and considering this is my favorite um, Nike runner definitely the best price uh, that I can get around um, I believe there's still uh, way over a hundred on uh, finish line and um, Foot Locker I think this bright crimson is only sold by Foot Locker uh, at the moment um, from the major um, retailers of course there's a lot of small shops that actually sell them and luckily same seller that uh, had the bright citrus had these as well on their um, eBay page uh, or store so I was able to grab them and yeah I mean what can I say they're, they're pretty much the same uh, great quality as my other two colorways the let's call them yellow and the <laughs> and the blue um, other one no uh, you know people will call them just the, the citrus or the menthol but whatever, uh, you know, this is how we knew them back in the day. Um, I really like uh, these these models. I mean, um, when when I don't know how you guys uh, feel about the 93, but when they came out back in the day, um, it was such a huge change. I mean, it was the first Air Max to feature this 270 degree uh, air chamber. It was so big, it was so huge compared to anything else. Uh, you can actually, you know, finally see the air depressing inside and. You know, all that made sense. It's not, it was not just just a gimmick. Um, and uh, this air chamber was a little bit brighter, in my opinion, back in the day. Uh, and it's of course bigger. Uh, same goes to the swoosh and the cap on the back on the heel, where it says Nike Air. Uh, again, great material here for the synthetic uh, overlay for the new book. Full grain leather for the toe cap and the panels. Um, there's a few videos out there on uh, YouTube. A um, few guys have a very good comparison between the original one and these retros, and you can definitely see the differences. But overall shape and construction of the shoe, uh, in my opinion, they are very, very similar. Um, and um, definitely appreciate Nike not uh, destroying this this model like many other ones that they did. But that's a different conversation. Um, it's interesting if I don't know if the camera picks it up. You can actually see the light protruding through the um, hill right there from the air chamber that it's outside. That means that there's not a lot of uh, rubber right here, so that that's good. That's going to be a little bit more responsive considering this uh, gas, the nitrogen gas inside now nowadays of the new models is uh, uh, makes it a little bit harder and stiffer. Uh, the midsole is polyurethane. 10 um, I don't know I don't think they updated it for these new models to to put it more you know modern file on but I think it's still polyurethane. 10 back in the day it was just encapsulated there in a forfeit and this gigantic beautiful Air Max unit on the hill that everybody loved and um, yeah it was, a, it was a great model uh, you can see how bright this bright crimson uh, insole is Nothing too too great though. It's just a can install, but regardless, colorway is, is awesome uh, in my humble opinion. And the production on this one is four nine fourteen to six fourteen fourteen. Um, these are the last one that came out from the original uh, colorways. Hopefully, they will release the the fourth pair as well. Like I said, we had the uh, the blue, the green, the yellow, and the red. Uh, so I think. What am I missing, missing now? Only the the green. Yeah, I think with the green, uh, whatever the name of it, uh, the official colorway was. <laughs> I think um, 
people people always knew them by the color only. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna pull out the other ones. Probably make a short separate video of all of them right next to each other. Uh, compare colorways and um, overall look. I think they all look pretty much the same. Um, not a lot of flaws, as you can see, just a tiny bit of a smidge of a paint. Um, not paint, but um, glue right here on the toe box, which is okay. Uh, this canvas synthetic material on the toe box is definitely a lot different than what it used to be. Um, back in the day, it was a lot softer and smoother than this, but it's okay. It's fine. I I, I don't mind that at all. It's at least it's not Vuktec use on these, <laughs> um, which would have been horrible. But um, yeah, Nike Air on the neoprene inner booty. Uh, I remember these when you used to put them on your feet. Uh, felt like a hug. They were so nice uh, that you can even rock them without lacing them uh, because of that neoprene was so tight. So most people just you know wore them either unlaced or they laced every single hole because you guys have know they have a double uh, row of holes and the lace ended up almost at the end here so they kind of a little bit dangled down um, didn't lace them at all and just rock them this way <clears throat> which was cool as well anything that made you different back in the day was cool was considered cool so uh, us as a kids we always try to um, avoid uh, back in those days to, to look like the next kid or you know, what, what usually what people call hype now, we, we didn't have it. We, we try to be different. So everybody wore uh, their shoes in every crazy way and everybody got a different model and all that. So if somebody from your friend circle had had the Jordans or had their own Maxes, you, you just had to get something else to, to be different. Or if they had a similar size, even better, because you guys can swap, uh, swap um, shoes and they go to a different school, you go to a different school. Every every has everybody has a different pair of kicks and some days and it was kind of a cool thing back in the day. I, I don't think people do it anymore, but when you don't have a lot of money and you have friends that have um, other models, we used to do that all the time. But yeah, without me further rambling, uh, thank you guys for your, all your support. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. There's more videos coming up, of course, as always. Um, 93. My favorite uh, Nike Air Max runner unit. Uh, as you know me, I always get the OG colorways. I know there's a tons of other collaborations and all that, but that's that's not my gig. I only uh, care about the OGs for the most time. So stay tuned if you like original colorways. If you like history, uh, stay tuned to collectivekicks.com for more sneaker news, reviews, and history articles as well. And until next time, guys, you just have a wonderful day.